Steve, thank you for joining us in ADB on the ground. No worries, man. Yeah. So one of the recurring uh, discussion points earlier was the tension between innovation and the need to balance the interests of ADB as a multilateral institution and governments. So how can we sort of better manage that? I think you need to understand what the bank does. And quite a lot of the bank's activities are not just sovereign lending, but they're private sector lending as well. I think the split is 60% government, 40% private sector. Okay. And there are some interventions which I think are best done at government. And the China example with heating and cooling and the removing coal from the uh, supply chain in, in China is a great example of a government-led initiative. Okay. Whereas you might have other initiatives like changing the behaviour of uh, small utilities and small, uh, small manufacturing companies and giving them access to energy efficient en uh, equipment or giving them access to renewable energy resources. So sometimes that's better done at a program run by, at a local level by local banks and okay. so the, the ADB is in a position where it can um, provide support to local banks doing that. So there's a toolkit of things available to us. I think it's an emerging mix. Um, and a lot of that mix is understanding the, who the customer is and what the customer needs. And I think that's something that the bank's doing a bit better job on. Okay, so we have a toolkit in place and it's something we can definitely act on and solve. We're actually developing that toolkit okay. as we speak. <laughs> okay, okay, cool. So the deep dive workshop tomorrow on waste to energy will be ah. about developing a toolkit that will you know, talk about the differences of do I do community level recycling or do I build a large incinerator or do I do a mix of both? And, and those sorts of decision making processes sometimes are very difficult for governments and for, uh, for people to understand what's in their best interest. Right. So there's a fear of incinerators, but in fact, um, you know, incinerator is almost a dirty word, but it's a very important activity. And I think, um, that toolkit will give them that skill set. I mean, okay. this morning's presentation we just saw, I think, a toolkit of talking about energy transition from decarbon to decarbonise and to distribute energy. That recurring theme needs to be carried through. We just need to show people, you know, how is it done, who's successfully done it and who hasn't. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the other thing is um, people from the outside usually don't understand what large an influence the government plays in deciding what kind of projects get implemented in their countries. So I think it's a sales question really if you want to in, in, in insert more innovation in our projects. So how can we sort of um, sell these ideas better uh, to governments? Um, the sales question is an interesting one because you know I've come from a long time in private enterprise mm. and I've only been to the bank for four months. Um, I think it's very difficult for people who are providing financial services to also have a function of sale. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't use the word sale, I'd perhaps use the word engagement and knowledge sharing. I know the bank is very keen on talking about knowledge sharing, but I think it's about opening people's idea to the possibilities. Mm -hmm. At the risk of not being evangelical, but yes. just saying this is what's happening, these are the emerging themes, how do we get there? And, and by the way, do you want to get there? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I th you know, And it's the same not just with governments. It's also the same with customers from, from the private sector side. You know, they will have different sets of agendas. So understanding that, I think, is a, is a challenge, but um, there's lots and lots of work we can do. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, thanks for your thoughts, Steve. My pleasure, man. Nice right. to talk to you.